Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and once again, I'm back in GOFS. Friends, today we're going to learn how to land, so let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to work with the same plane, so I want you all to click on aircraft, and I want you to choose the Cessna 172, and I want you to choose the classic one. I might have clicked that too fast, but we're choosing the classic one. We like this one because it has flaps, and it's just a simple one to get started with. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit location and then I want you to click approaches and then we are going to try and land down in Florida, Key West International. All right, friends, before we start doing this, there's a few keys I want you to know. The numbers on the top are your throttle. So as soon as I hit P for play, I'm going to hit nine. So my throttles up. I also want you to know that there are brackets and the one on the left bracket, it looks like this kind of like a flat C that puts your flaps, which also slows you down and makes it better for landing. Also the semicolon puts on your brakes. So here we are. I've got my mouse in the front. I'm going to hit P and I'm going to hit nine. So my throttles up, you can see my throttle right now changing. You also may have saw an airplane underneath me. Now notice I have moved my mouse straight up. So that way I'm dipping down to the ground and I want to line up with that white runway. Now, if we find other airports, you'll find the runways are different colors. If you pay for the HD, you'll find the runways even look nicer. But we're watching right now as I drop down under, there's 1000 feet. So always keep an eye on that, keep it smooth. Remember, we're gonna drop that throttle now down to like five. So that's just a key on the top of the keyboard. Right now, I'm going to change my flaps. If you look on the right, you'll see those adjusting. So there's one, two, three clicks. And that just helps lower your airspeed. I'm going to hit three. And I'm just trying to get this smooth and level as I come in at that runway. Probably not going to do this well the first time. And then remember, once you do get it down on the ground, you want to hit the semicolon to use your brakes. Keeping it straight and level. Ah. Oh, that dude just, <laughs> when the plane came by, I lost my mind. So I'm going to try and keep it level for the next piece. All right. If you crash, friends, just hit R for reset. And let's try it again. So once again, I'm coming in. I do need to set my throttle. There I'm at six. I'm going to get down low. And then I'm going to come in smooth. And I'm going to try and not let the airplane above me freak me out this time. Because I thought I was pretty solid that time. The flaps are still up. So now I'm going to do the other bracket to get my flaps flat. You can actually see that happen. If you ever change your views, uh, five is the view we're doing here. If somehow you hit something silly and you're looking like that, that's hard to land from. So make sure you get back to five. I'm dipping down to landing height. Notice all I'm doing is moving my mouse up the screen so that we can get down. There goes 500 feet. There is a plane landing above me. Can you see the shadow? I'm gonna hit three and now I'm gonna bring in my flaps. Left bracket. So you're using two hands the whole time you're making this happen. That's a big jet landing in front of me which is pretty cool. So you can see I bounced. And I'm going to still have to keep working at this. But you've got the idea of how to bring it down. I'm finally going to settle and hit the semicolon so the brakes come on. You can see the brakes show up on your screen. And, friends, we're safe-ish on the ground. That, my friends, is how I want you to practice. Remember, if you ever have problems, just hit R to restart. Give it another shot and see just how good you can get at it with this plane. Remember when you do restart, get your flaps back, change your throttle, and give it another go. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this, and if you did, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.